Thank you, Lily. And uh, on behalf of the whole MIT community, I want to express our appreciation to you, Lily, to Diane Green, to John Jarvie, and to everyone who worked on the search that has brought to MIT a truly outstanding president-elect. So I hope you can feel the energy and anticipation in the room. This is truly a very special occasion for every one of us at MIT. And I know you need to head back to Durham shortly, so before you go, this is a moment of truth, I would like to present you with two gifts from our community. Be strong, be brave, and please join me here <laughs> for a moment. So the first gift is in anticipation of your first day as president, when you will come face to face with one of very serious facts about your new job. We call it January. <laughs> Thank you. So, so what do you call these things? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> well, we, we, hope, we hope these cozy items will, will help you avoid feeling immediately homesick <laughs> for North Carolina. The second gift, maybe you can put this, uh, maybe I will give it to maybe Daddy. Maybe better wear them Give it to Daddy. <laughs> the second gift is a little bit hard to explain or harder. It's not such a useful present. But we believe it will help you get to know certain qualities of MIT culture. You may be surprised to learn this unless Alex told you, but the Institute has its own glass blowing lab. In fact, the glass lab is not too far from here, it's here in the basement. And if you are particularly fortunate, you might win a spot in the annual lottery to take glass blowing lessons. I must tell you, my wife did win that lottery, and I had to go with her. And we, after hours of learning, we built two wonderful, heavy paperweight. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. So, when you open this box, you will find something that expresses the joy this community takes in making <laughs> things hands-on, and that also embodies MIT's signature spirit of playful creativity. Uh, as Chris in the audience would tell you, it could be described as a charming example of material science in action. <laughs> Over time, you will see a lot of this at MIT, but very few in a Duke shade of blue. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. But give it to me. <laughs> We have enough of those. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to explain this to the TSA people. <laughs> well, Sally, congratulations. You really, you are about to, to begin what, in my mind, is the best job in the world. And, and you and Danny are embarking on a truly wonderful new adventure. Chris and I uh, wish the best of success. And we truly cannot wait to see the future you help create for our really beloved MIT. So that concludes a very special event. Thank you all for joining us in person or remotely. And please join me in expressing one more time how delighted we are to meet our president-elect.